I-V-D-N, the Lich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, professional wrestling video blogs, sports video blogs, MBTA video blogs, entertainment video blogs, plus several other stuff. Collection of my work going back to June of 2014 is on Facebook, YouTube, and other social media websites. RVB in Bellica, Massachusetts. Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Sunday, January 15th, 2017, around 3 3.01 in the afternoon. It's my first video blog of the day. I sometimes do them in the morning, but it's Sunday, and early this morning, I wasn't feeling that great with like a sore throat, but a little better, so kind of bear with me. It's 35 degrees out right now, sunshine, and it's going to get a warming trend this week. Some news to report on the RBBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. New England Patriots beat the Houston Texans by the score of 36, no, 34 to 16. A little bit of a scare for the Patriots in the first half, but in the second half, they dominated. They're going to host the AFC Championship game next Sunday at Gillette Stadium on CBS. Jim Nance and Phil Sims will be calling the action. Also, UMass Lowell River Hawks beat the UMass Minutemen in hockey by the score of 2-1. to one. After 146 years, the Lindland Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus is closing down. They won't be performing any more shows after May. And Due to the owner saying um, high cost and attendance dwindling down over the past 10 years when they took the elephants off the show last year, that was the death knell of Wheeling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. So they, the circus will not be coming to town anymore in October. So that means. The Bruins probably will have a lot more home dates in October because they would always have to stand in the road during the month of October so they could maybe play the games um, during the week where the circus was. And NBA Commissioner Adam Silver says he's open to the idea of having an expansion team in Mexico City. Put an expansion team in Seattle, Washington. That's what I say. And sad news to report in the world of professional wrestling. WWE Hall of Famer Superfly Jimmy Snooker passed away after battling stomach cancer at the age of 73. The Superfly was a WWE superstar in the 1980s, having feuds with the magnificent Don Morocco, Bob Backlund, and Rowdy Rowdy Piper, his most famous feud. Demons prevented Superfly from winning the WWE Championship. And the last few years of his life, he, it was awful for him. He, he was charged with murder, but it, eventually he was not fit for trial because of a dementia and battling stomach cancer. So, so sad. Prayers to his family. And I love you, brother. I bet Rowdy Piper's waiting for him at the gates of heaven so he could smash a co coconut on him again and they could rekindle their feud in heaven. That's about it on the news from the RVBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my first video blog subject of the day. Get out. You're so sweet, cause they're cute. The more the merrier. Go find something to do. I know, I know, I know, no. I'm doing good. Are you writing a book? I don't care about game shows. Want to put a wager on this, Richie? I got places to go. People just think, see, see things to do. As, as all, if they all know the questions, I change. Just. Do you think they know the answers? I change question. Great quotes only on RVBN. I'm back 
my first video blog subject of the day is my personality profile. Today's personality profile is WHDH Morning Meteorologist Len Claire. Len Claire has been with Channel 7 in Boston since October of 2016 and she is a cute leggy blonde. Background on Len Claire. She was born and she grew up in Minnesota and she was fascinated by the weather in Minnesota because Minnesota could get extremely cold during the winters. They get well below zero plus they have a lot of blizzards there and sometimes a lot of ice storms during the winter months plus it could get very very hot as well there. And her parents were dentists and she studied chemistry and acupology at the University of Minnesota in the Twin Cities. She graduated from a chemistry, chemistry degree and she started working as a chemist when she got out of college. She did that for a few years but when said she wanted to become a weather forecaster. She went to uh, Mississippi State University's meteorology program that is the home of such cute lady blonde weather forecasters that I always talk about, Julie Broughton, Molly Roseblood, Amy Sweezy, and so many others. She got a degree there. And then in the summer of 2014, um, Ren got her first television job as a weather producer for WJFW NBC 12 in Wally Sauce, Wisconsin. She was a weather producer for about seven, eight months until she made her on-screen um, debut as a meteorologist for NBC 12 from January 2000. 15 to the fall of 2016. She first was the weekend meteorologist and she did some reporting on weather related stuff for um, NBC 12 and and in the fall of 2015 she got promoted to weekday morning meteorologist which that's probably the number two weather person on the TV of each and every t television station and she did that but when went to a bigger television market. In October of 2016, Ren signed a contract to work for WHDH as a morning meteorologist. She's on today in New England from 5 a.m. to 10 in the morning and from noon time to 1 p.m. plus Ren is on um, when there's specials for weather like snowstorms or blizzards or even hurricanes she's going to be part of the news team like seven weather team and and it's real real popular she, she's a very cute leggy blonde and she is very pretty in her spare time um Ren loves art she also likes to jog and she also loves watching baseball. She grew up a Minnesota Twins fan and she probably maybe saw some Brewers games. I bet she's going to see some Red Sox games this summer. Probably when the Minnesota Twins play. And Ren has a cat named Charlie. And Ren has the best legs in Boston in my humble opinion. And she rocks. And that's about it on Ren Claire. And I'll be back with the second and final video blog of the night, which will be the NHL Midseason Report. And I like I always say, keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Button guy, Molly Rose Plow, WCCO, Acton has nice legs, Elizabeth Hutt, so, so stunning, she's the best, Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome, Amy, Linda Church of WPIX, Channel 11, New York, such rocking cougars, get best legs in New York City, Bond on, Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11, has a sweet southern accent, best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina, Jamie Hirsch of the NHL Network is so cool, and she's got the best legs on the NHL Network, and Melissa of the Tilt to Kilt in Barker, Massachusetts, rocks and she's got the best legs at the tilt to kill in Berwick and I pound it with her and in the words of Deep Tower, see you later.